And we welcome Stephen Jelly. The big races are coming thick and fast for you at the moment. Croft last weekend, Silverstone this weekend, next weekend, <laughs> London Marathon. How ready are you for that? Oh, I don't know whether you can ever, ever be ready for a marathon, but uh, looking forward to it. I'm running it for Alzheimer's Research UK, um, which is a great charity, charity close to my heart. So uh, looking to raise a, raise a bit of money and uh, stick a time in as well. So it's not a very relaxing weekend between consecutive race weekends, but you know it's for a good cause. So you take the same sort of competitive attitude to the London Marathon as you do here, because you're a bit of a triathlete as well, aren't you? Yeah, I've uh, you know I always started running uh, for motorsport to keep fit, uh, keep the weight off, and uh, then picked up a few injuries, started riding my bike, and then got into triathlon like that. Really, um, it's it's a bit of a sadistic uh, hobby. You sort of you learn a lot about yourself and your your, your mental side and how to control your your uh, your thoughts and uh, and, and grind through it because it's yeah. it's peaks and troughs. Yeah, I did a few London marathons and I learned a great deal about myself. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I never do it again. Uh, what are you learning about yourself during the course of this season? There were there were high spots at Thruxton, Alton, and so on, and a bit of a battle. Yeah, it, it's incredibly tough this year. Um, you know, the times are so so tight in qualifying, um, and we. You know, you think coming into WSR, you sort of you're going to instantly have that upgrade forwards, but everybody's moving forwards, and we're still we're still learning every weekend about the car. Me and my uh, engineer Andy. Um, so at Croft, we didn't test at Croft pre-season, so that was a bit of a more difficult one. And we and we had a good car by the third race. I'm sure everyone will say that. Another driver excuse, um, but we didn't quite have that car in qualifying. So a couple of tenths off from where I should have been and it just makes your weekend that bit more difficult so here it's looking good um, I'm pretty confident how that first practice session's gone so fingers crossed what what suits you uh, about the Silverstone National then I it's difficult to say I, I, I think really from this point of view it's just that we've turned up and the car's switched on um, and I think you know, you've got drivers that have been in this championship for a very long time. So everybody knows every single circuit like the back of their hand. Um, they've all got the cars dialed in. The engineers have all worked for pretty much every team on the grid. So the cars are all very, very close. Um, and if you just manage to get the car just in that right zone and you get in it and you think, oh, I'm on for a weekend here. Um, and that can just make the difference. And that was the feeling from... Free practice yeah, yeah. Well, so I, I, you know, having said that, now I'm probably going to, uh, <laughs> you know, I've cursed it. But uh, yeah, I've set myself up for a big one, um, and uh, I think it's going to be a good weekend. So fingers yeah. crossed. You've also said you're going to do a decent time at the London Marathon <laughs> next weekend. Uh, people, I'm sure, will want to contribute. How do they go about that for us? Yeah, well, the details are on my uh, my Twitter page. I've got a Just Giving page. I'm sure if you put my name into that, you'll find me as well. Um, and uh, but on my Twitter page is all the uh, the links to the to the uh, to the just giving page so it'd be great to get some get some money raised for a great cause um, and uh, you know hopefully I'm not too stiff for uh, mm -hmm. for Donington Park the weekend after oh well done for that we wish you the best and have a good weekend here thank you very much